Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Mm. KK Katerika Lumba took on mm. it and increased on the volume with a lot of resistance from IMF. Mm. Mm. Where it is now, it is unviable. Mm. And the way Hagainde is pushing it, it can't work. Mm. I would rather. What are the weaknesses in, in the changes they are trying to make with FISA? They use it as a political program. Mm. Mm. Oh no, we have given. Uh, 30 farmers seed. When you go down, you find these four bags. Mm. Wealth creation is at household level. Mm. And we can use the institution of village headmen mm. and the chiefs. Mm. We get to a village and say, how many able-bodied people are mm. here? Mm. Don't say like Hagainde is doing that. In this household, you, you've got fertilizer, so your son can't get fertilizer. Mm. The son is a husband to the mother. Mm. No. <laughs> the son also has a home, mm. a homestead. Mm. So this activity should be how many people are in this household? How many of them are able-bodied? Mm. How the many way, can be productive? The way President Hassan is doing it in Tanzania, what mm. they are doing right now in Tanzania, and Tanzania is going to be a very large food basket for the region. That's why they're exporting fertilizer to Tanzania. Why? Mm. Mm. What she's doing is this. She says to the village herdmen and the village committee and says, give me people in your village. Tell me how many hectares they've done. If you've done 10 hectares, they fund all of it. The government has a certain threshold. Mm. They say, if you go beyond the government threshold, we will still support no. you 50%. For your contribution, yes. Your contribution will be 50%. Mm. People are doing 30, 40, 100 hectares mm. with that program. And what she has done also is that she has taken young people, created a hub where there's technology for fixing tractors, for everything, and says, who wants to be a farmer? Because she knows mm. some of the young people are engineers. They're mm. heavy-duty mechanics. You can't tell someone who, who is driving a bulldozer or a tractor to be a farmer. No, mm. Mm. but they can fix. Mm. So last year, by the time I counted, she was restatering 600 Six hundred and eighty thousand youths. Mm. That's mm. fantastic for me. That's mm. my president. I wish mm. I could relocate. Mm. But mm. this friend of mine, CEC, fifty kwacha ichi, go and do fish ponds. After ECL left, do you hear the story of fish pond? Mm. By this time, mm. it would have been you know so blown up. Mm. But mm. Uh, how can he do it when people are dying? He's heading cattle. Mm. When people are dying in the copper belt, he's in Dubai, he's selling. What is selling? Mm. He's selling to a nondescript company. What is wrong with the Minister of Mines mm. going to Dubai and sell? How about the PS and Secretary to the Treasury? You, you paint a grim picture uh, of Akainde's presidency. What are the prospects for 2024? What do you see? I am saying to my relatives, fellow Zambians, we made a mistake. This was an accident. We need now to say, what do we have? Mm. In us, we have resilience. The last thing that I would advise you not to think of is to say that we are a failed state. Mm. Just to say we are in transition. Mm. And uh, when the people, children of Israel cried for a leader, he gave them so. Mm. But he still knew that there was a David somewhere. There's mm. going to be a David somewhere. The story of Haka Inde is the saddest chapter for our country. As far as I'm concerned, he's finished. Mm. And all I'm asking Zambians to do 
is that preserve the peace. Mm. Preserve the peace. I know the prices of mini mills are high. Mm. I know you could easily think of the worst times that these countries have had, the 1987s. No. Mm. This is our land. Mm. It's a land of peace. Mm. Zambia is oasis of peace. Mm. And mm. Zambia is the pulsating heart of Africa. Mm. We cannot afford as a nation to lose direction because of one man who is disoriented, who is angry, who has no power of discernment in him. Mm. Who is giving our country to the foreigners? I so listened. My mm. I listened to is that mm. before Zambia you give that advice. Has, yeah. I listened to President Nakainde's last press conference in which he literally was summarizing his stay in office in the last two and a half years. He spoke for almost five hours and he gave a glowing picture of his leadership and this country. He cited what he called were successes, you know, free education, uh, CDF, that he has brought peace to this country uh, while you are pleading for action for peace that it should be kept. He gave this glowing picture. Is that a reality? What do you make of that when you hear him speak? Ambassador, do you read the Bible? Yes. Can you tell me the story of Herod? Mm, King Herod, yes. Can you tell me the story of King Herod? Mm, mm, mm. Do you know his attributes? Mm. Anger. Insecurity. Mm. Mm. And when Herod is angry, you don't see it. He says to the three wise men, you have come to see Jesus, mm. the king. I would also want to pay homage. Was that true? No. He was lying. He wanted Hakainde Jesus is a kill. liar. Everything I see in Herod, in the Bible, I see in this leader. And therefore, the attribute of Herod was sing for me. And people start singing. What was his end? Mm. You, you read. You're an avid reader than me. Tell me the end of Herod. Mm. Mm. Tell me. Mm. Consumed by anger and self-deceit mm. and the ego. What happened? Mm. Mm. When people stand to pray and you have prayer singers around him. Mm. I'm done. I'm much you know. Exact replica of Herod. We are in Herod's time now. Mm. So when he stands to praise himself, I pity him. I say, let's pray for him. Mm. Maybe he can see some light. Maybe he can see the humility in uh, the people who built the war. Mm. You get people together. Stand and defend the war wherever you are because you, you form the barrier. Because now we are under attack. Mm. The war mm. has fallen. Mm. We are under attack. So each one of us is a, a resident mm. under a city without a war. We need a leader. We need a Nehemiah. And, 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 and when he stands to literally utilize himself for hours, Mm. I weep. Mm. I weep and say to myself, you know, in his own infinite wisdom, as we say in Parliament, God has gave us his son, Hagain de Chilema. Mm. But he gave us the West son, Herod. Mm. Mm. And look at what is happening across the board. I was talking about uh, the DPP. This is his lawyer. Mm. These are the people who are defending the suspected uh, treason case. Uh, of course. Mm. And uh, his DPP, and he's issuing fiats like someone on the street is issuing something. And uh, you go to the courts of law, those of us who go and sit and listen to the indictments, you weep because it's as though the DPP doesn't exist. I have been a regular visitor to courts, Chikwa courts. You, you remember, for a long mm, time, mm. I've never ever found 
a situation where literally their justices have to help the prosecution to amend the cases on the floor. Mm. You see that? Mm. It means the DPP is non-existent because mm. the job of the DPP is to cross the T's and dots because uh, by nature of his job, it's a solemn job, sending mm. people to the gallows. Mm. So he needs to concentrate, but he doesn't. And I ask Haga in himself to go incognito in some of those courtrooms, sees the mistakes which the NPA is making there because their DPP is sleeping, and he's sleeping only because he's an, a friend of the president. Look at the mistakes at Parliament. Your sister, when, mm, your young when, sister. I, when, when I was in the house, and I, I always say this, I, I believe we have a finest lawyer in the house. But that job, because she's bidding for Haga and Echilema, she has thrown the rules to the wind. Mm. When we were members of the house ourselves, we used to be told by late Speaker Nabudia to Dr. Nabudia, he says, the Speaker has no ears. When you try to draw him into a discussion, the Speaker has no ears, no eyes, I didn't see. Someone has to stand and say, Mr. Speaker, point of order. Mm -hmm. Did you hear what uh, uh, so-and-so did? If it is heinous and injurious to the dignity of the House, it is referred to the Privileged Committee mm -hmm. for that privileged committee has uh, the leader of the house, mm. the opposition, and the eminent persons from government. Mm. They make a balanced decision and send to the floor of the house for the, for the speaker to mm. rule on it. They actually rule on mm. behalf of the speaker. The speaker is just a spokesperson. The, the committee has said, you are going to be sanctioned like this, like this. Now, this speaker of ours, she's, she behaves like it's a classroom. Get out! Get out! And unfortunately, mm. our members of parliament, they don't understand their rights. Mm. Me, if I were to be sent out mm. like mm. that, like a little child, mm. not even my granddaughter can you send the Namonje like that. Mm. She would say, no, grandma, I don't want. I would walk out with the mess. <laughs> <laughs> and you and I understand the implication yeah, yeah. of walking out. You, you send me, out 18 mm. MPs out, they march out obediently. Mm. Honestly, I walk out with a mess and see if she would continue sitting. Mm. Maybe she would sit because she may not understand the implication mm. of the mess being lifted from mm. there. It means you have fallen, Madam Speaker. Mm. So mm. Uh, the excitement of being in a parliament, in government, is not there. Mm. I recall days when we used to be young and in that house. Mm. We went there as novices. We didn't mm. know how to run parliament, but we spent our times in the library. When the Honorable State Council, uh, Malambo, uh, <laughs> Siruamba, start to speak, mm. you could hear a pin drop. Mm. Oh, Joshua Lumina, mm. those people who could be on the floor of the house for four days filibustering. They don't mm. even you know filibustering. Mm. So, mm. Uh, you know, you just hear, 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 hear. No, this one expelled. It's just a complete sucker. Yes, so, yes. so, it's a reflection of the leader. Because mm. they, essentially the leader of, of that uh, National Assembly is the president. Mm. 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 And uh, mm. every institution you tend to, he's turned it into a circus. And don't talk about the public service. So, mm. for me, the solution... In fact, before you come to the solution, that's what I wanted to say. Zambians are looking at President Akainde Ichlemandi's tenure and they're beginning to realize it could have been a mistake, like you've stated, that he has failed. They hope he may change in the next two and a half years, but he may not. And they're looking at the opposition. And the opposition appear in disarray. We don't appear to be together or to be the credible solution to President Akainde Ichlem. What would be your word of advice, encouragement? Oh, because you are the vehicle in which uh, President Nakainde Echilema can be replaced. Actually, we are very credible. Unless you are telling me that I'm sitting on this platform and what I'm saying is not credible. Mm. I'm saying the facts. That mm. it was, this was a mistake. Mm. And don't force us in this country to start saying that seven men have failed. Mm. And maybe it's time now for a mother <laughs> to hold the baby. Yeah. We don't want to go that far. Because the pain mm. is uniform. Mm. Male, female, 
young or old, youth, the pain is uniform. It's really painful mm. that uh, you can at this day and age uh, say that we are sending our patients to Tanzania. Mm. They were behind us. Mm. Mm. They were behind us. The breakup was way, way behind. So uh, all we need is leadership. And uh, Hakainde is doing everything possible to annihilate any voice. Mm. That's why I'm in court. Mm. He, I mean, if you charge me with a criminal offense, the end result is that you want to send me to Mukobe? Mm. Abduction is a very, very heavy charge. Mm. Abducting human beings is a, a, a penal offense. Mm. And he fabricates it. And his DPP authorizes the fiat. Mm. So they've created institutions around themselves to muffle and annihilate the opposition. Mm. Now, when that happens, we are back to 1990. Mm. I'm telling mm. you, we couldn't organize. Mm. We started uh, the Chachacha welfare, mm. where I'm here and I'm there. Mm. There were no phones. Mm. There was no online streaming. There was no WhatsApp. So the more he doesn't see what is happening, Mm. the more surprised he's going to be. Because mm. he shouldn't think that he's very smart, using the inspector general to... In fact, it's good that they think that we are not campaigning. Mm. Me, I love it. Well, I love it. Because that's the art of foolishness. Mm. Mm. Uh, and uh, I hope he can read the, the art of war. Mm. You need to know what your enemy is up to. Mm. When you're on the hill and your enemy is in the valley, they can't climb. Mm. So the opposition look like they are in the valley, they are in the trenches. But you don't know what they are planning. Mm. You don't know what they are planning. And because the nation knows that Haka Inde has stifled the opposition, the press is stifled, mm. everybody now is alive to the fact that this was a mistake. Because there are people like uh, Madam Scotland. She came here to birth this government. Mm. 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 Unfortunately, she birthed a stillborn. Mm. And I'm challenging them, come back here. Let's talk. Mm. The Commonwealth is about democracy, free press, free assembly. Mm. And this is stillborn. And we can't even bury it. Mm. Come here, we talk. The Americans, their mantra is uh, free press, democracy. Mm. Is this the democracy that Biden wants? Mm. I mean, shame on Biden mm. that he is sitting in America and watching a catastrophe forming in our country. And they're mm. quiet because this is their brainchild. Mm. They, they clapped, you know, because he doesn't like the Chinese. And foolishly, we followed. But where are we now? Mm. We are back being given to my fifteen million dollars. When we could when others are getting billions of dollars. Mm. There's no African country which is developing without Chinese money. Mm. Now that kind of lack of foresight is Herod is uh, King Herod once again. Yes. Mm. I, and there are many like that, Nebuchadnezzar, mm. all mm. of them. They are a group. Mm. Uh, so they think they are in charge, mm. but they have nothing. Mm. They'll be consumed by worms. Mm. And, 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 and for me, uh, when you say, what is the way forward? In 1990, did we ever think we could unseat Super K? No, not at all. Not at all. We started was, by saying, totally we small people in the market. Because, you know, even when I look back, Dr. Kaunda, was this statesman, global statesman, so strong. respected in Washington, respected in Moscow, respected in Peking at the time, was a frequent flyer to London. And to see that the people rose and replaced such a man, you know. So now, if you consider the, the love of the nation of Super Ken, yeah. and the greed in Haka Inde Ichilem, mm. Is it difficult to replace him? No, no, no. It's not. Mm. 
The because people, KK was the selfless. people have seen despite the greed. His, yeah, mistakes, despite KK's fallings and failings. He educated us. Mm. He gave us... I mean, the CCM was the, the breast. For, for it was the education. And that's the point I made to the people in the West. I said, you people, you even want to take Kabelenga guest house. It's mm. our Camp David. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> because mm -hmm. this is so called buyers wanted even all the assets including nanny uh, co-mining assets. I said, but why would you take a guest house where the president has been raised? Mm -hmm. Would you sell your camp David? So, uh, if you say, in 1990 we could whisper in toilets. Mm -hmm. Now I can do WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. I can do anything. I can be on air. Is it difficult to remove a despotic leader now? Mm. In Africa, mm. Mm. we have removed the good leaders. Rupia Banda was removed. Mm. Isia was removed. Mm. We've changed the governments, which are performing, which are mm. building bridges and airports. Mm. What has he built? He hasn't even built one toilet. Mm. Mm. What is his value? Look, they are singing about the uh, Consumers Development Fund. CDF. That was started by Honorable Newton Ngun and Ernest Mwansa. Mm, if they really 96. wanted to know how to implement that, they should have called those two people, maybe and myself, or maybe not even myself, because that was a scheme to help MPs take something back to the consumers. Mm. Because when we, I read the budget mm. as minister, and they call me in a corner, Minister. Yeah, now to offer a kuna kondi, there was not even one culture for mm. So when my colleagues were starting that CDF, it was for for small projects in the consequences. You can increase it. It does not replace central government. Mm. Decentralization doesn't mean littering money in the provinces or districts. Mm. How I would do it, and I've always advised this. In every district, we have a district medical officer, district education officer, district agriculture officer. We even have police officers. Those are the central government functions. Mm -hmm. And by the way, most of them are masters or PhD holders. Mm -hmm. True, true. So now, Hakainde's vision is that these professionals are out of the way. The ones, I'm going to the give money. Committee. To mm. the word committee, and let's take my word in Inega village. Mm. The only educated person there is my young brother. Mm. You yeah. give him 40 million kwacha, mm. and they say, propose a budget. It mm. has never been schooled in budgeting. Mm. Mm. What are they going to do? This is I've why you are, I've stated, I've already, you are, you are getting president, people. I've always stated that uh, the president doesn't seem to understand decentralization no, he and local government. He doesn't. Because he assumes that CDF is it's decentralization. Yeah. And his friends in America are saying, no, grassroots. Because the Americans and these people in the West, they will sing your song when they see you are foolish. Mm. You know, for me, what I would have done, I would have taken that money, handed it over to the local, local authority. authority. Which has and expertise said, and democratic the local, structure. Some local authorities don't have the requisite staff. Mm. But tell the central government functionaries in each district mm. that they are the development committee. Mm. And we did that in Kalingalinga when I was MP mm. for Munali under Zamsif. Mm. I, I did Kalikilik police station. I did a number of projects. But how we did them we got uh, Father Thomas Banda to be the chairperson of the committee. Mm. But if we were building a police station in Kalikiriki, we went to the officer in charge and said, please, what facility do you want? Then we went to Works and Supply. Mm. Can you provide the supervision and the drawings? Mm. And it worked beautifully. Mm. Mm. So that concept is what you see in the FDD manifesto, mm. that uh, we create wealth at households but on the platform of professionals. Because mm. if I'm sinking a boho, I don't need the president to go and sink a boho in this rain. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. In this rain, he's running around when he was heading in Kato in the dry season. In this rain, you go to sink a boho. I mean, I'm former minister of energy and water, for God's mm. sake. 
you would dig at 20 meters, you find water. It's yeah. still mm. in the same vein of the sewage system. Mm. So what I would do to have full decentralization is to not create any new institutions. Mm. Gather Top all the state. professionals in a district. Mm. They should be under one person. We have the DC. Mm. We have the sec secretary mm. to the council. Mm. I would ask the minister of finance and the treasury secretary to gazette a controlling officer for each district. Mm. Because that's the person you need to subvert that money. Because that mm. person is auditable. Mm. The only office you need to create at local level in the district is the auditor general's office. Mm. You mm. have an auditor there and you have a person who is qualified to receive money from the treasury. Mm. Not the, the MP, mm. not mm. the council, mm. because you can't audit them. Mm. Mm. So if you can call an auditable person who is gazetted, because controlling officers have to be appointed by the sec yeah. secretary to, to the treasury. treasury. Mm. So you say you are accountable for this money, and here are the staff who are going to form the technical team. If you want a school, the district education officer knows where that school has to be, mm. the standards and quality, because you have to standardize. Mm. If you want a clinic, the district medical officer, but there is also the department of infrastructure in the district. Mm. They will control the standards. Mm. And when it comes to accountability, mm. there's a, a person who is auditable by the secretary to the mm. treasurer. That is accountability. And how are they working? They have the councillors. They mm. are also in this committee. Mm. They have the MPs, they are also in this committee. Mm. And each one knows what their basket is. And they will come to this committee. In my ward, they want a clinic. It is this team that is going to do the drawings. Mm. And then you don't need to come to Lusaka to get the garden combo to authorize because I have a controlling officer, officer there. Approved. Mm. And I can tell you, you will decentralize the work because you and I will know that. If I go to Shango, I can get a contract there. Mm. I don't have to start waiting for central government or some, some mm. famous uh, constituency China, China, doing something. No. Mm. The professionals, I'm a believer in the public service, in the civil service, and our children have gone to Birmingham to study masters, what, what. Mm. They are just sitting. They can't even read a newspaper. Mm. And Hagaende says that that's a decentralization. I, first, to put it, Eight million in a consequence, mm. but all other projects have come to a standstill. Mm. Mm. You can't buy medicine for a district. You can't buy books for a district. Mm. You can't build a big facility for the district because I am the first. Mm. I am the first. Mm. So that I am the first mm. is the conceited behavior of Herod. Mm. It is a mark of insecurity, extreme insecurity. And when you have an insecure leader, that leader is always angry. Mm. And therefore, you can't interact and have discourse about development. Mm. Mm. What are your last words? It's been an inspiration. Talk, walk from the 90s to date. Prospects for the future. And just what your last words are. For me... We have the best country on earth. Mm. As the colonialists put it, go to Zambia, there's a 360 days of sunshine. There is natural pastures which are naturally watered. Mm. There's soil mm. which you can pick up, as one of my Israeli friends said, you can put Zambia soil in your mouth. You put one finger in Zambia, you take out five fingers. Mm. That's what my friend said. It is the best place on earth. And uh, the people of Zambia are patient. Mm. They understand when we, the leaders, are taking advantage of them. They know. There is no anxiety about tomorrow. I can assure you, there's going to be definite change in 2026. And therefore, what we need is patience. Because 
when you realize that you have got a road deal, you don't start throwing stones. Mm. You begin mm. to make exit strategies. Mm. If you make a wrong turn and uh, you are going to Mongu and you end up at Shimabara, you don't start uh, uh, smashing your car. You come back to Lusaka because there's no shortcut mm. and you go on the Mongu road. We took a day tour with Hagai Ndechilem and his UPND. We have to get back to base, the crossroads where we left, and take the correct turn. Mm. The politics of Zambia have become vindictive mm. because you are dealing with a herald. Mm. Understand that these are biblical times. God, by his own infinite wisdom from time to time, teaches us a lesson that in our selection of leaders, we need to be prayerful. We need to have discernment to ask God that we need that discernment to provide ourselves a leadership that will lift this country to the glory of God. Mm. Wow, wonderful. What a podcast this is. Madam President, I would like to thank you for coming to this conversation. And I know that the nation will, will learn a lot of lessons and they will walk the path of uh, hope and success for our country. I wish you well in your political endeavors. And to our dear viewers and listeners, we were hosting Honorable Edith Nawakwi, and it's been a tremendous journey. Until next time, God bless this country. God bless um, uh, Zambia. Ciao next time. All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.